Mas na para lang Nepali e Gonzales Senior High School caters to more than 700 students. In fact, it is the largest senior high school in the division of Mandaluyong. Specializing in academics, arts and design, and the technical, vocational, and livelihood tracks. For the TVL track, we have cookery, front office, food and beverages, and home economic services. For the academic track, Ampinag offers science, technology, engineering and mathematics, accountancy, business and management, general academic, and now, the humanities and social sciences strand. Investing primarily on skills that can help you gain requisite certificates of completion and the national certificate, the technical vocational livelihood track is the perfect fit for students who want to earn money immediately after graduation. Opportunities in this track include careers in agriculture, electronics, trade, and even abroad. Future TBL graduates can become chefs, front desk officers, event organizers and planners, housekeepers, and secretaries. The culminating activities you will be exposed to include cooking shows, personality development, immersions, entrepreneurship expos, and other hands-on activities. The science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand focuses on these intertwining disciplines applied in the real world, the main difference with other strands being its focus on advanced concepts and topics. Under this strand, you can become a pilot, engineer, nurse, doctor, teacher, scientist, researcher, and so much more. The culminating activities of this strand include science fairs, interdivision science competitions, science investigatory project competitions, and immersions. The accountancy, business, and management strand emphasizes on the basic concepts of financial management, business management, corporate operations, and all things accounted for. The ABM strand can lead you to careers on management and accounting, such as sales and marketing managers, human resources, bookkeepers, auditors, and accountants, among others. Its culminating activities include entrepreneurship expos, seminars and symposiums, field and market studies, immersions, and business ethics. While the other strands are career-specific, the general academic strand takes multiple aspects from other strands, being the best choice for students who want to be more flexible when it comes to their options. Career choices for GAS graduates include writers, social scientists, researchers, event organizers and managers, and public speakers. The culminating activities of this strand include earthquake and fire drills, entrepreneurship expos, research symposiums, tours and immersions, speech choirs, and public speaking. The arts and design track prepares students as they wander in the different design, performative, and creative industries, exposing them to various forms of arts, dance, theater, voice and instruments, and media, visual, and literary arts. Careers and opportunities in this track include singers and composers, dancers and instructors, theater and stage actors, and animators and graphic designers. Culminating activities include immersions, variety shows, art exhibits, grand productions, and theater and stage plays. Empinag Senior High School aims to become the senior high school of choice in the division of Mandaluyo. It provides the students with access to quality, efficient, and effective education for all where students are given a wide variety of choices in relation to their career preferences. As a senior high school of choice, Empinag Senior High School envisions to produce students who are functionally literate and productive citizens of our nation, equipped with values, skills, and competences that enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation through diverse classroom instructions that are aligned with their career of choice.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mataas na Paaralan, Neptali A. Gonzalez, Oplan Balik Eskwela, 2020. The Department of Education's initiatives are setting its first virtual launch to assist every school and stakeholders in their respective preparation for the upcoming school year 2020-2021. It aims and promotes sustainable and safe living. The reconfiguration of Oplan Balik Escuela and basic education will highlight the application of knowledge and convergence of efforts to address health and social issues at home, in school, and community relative to the new framework. Ladies and gentlemen, let us witness our Philippine National Anthem to be followed by our opening prayer, Magnificat by David Hatz, made by Mr. Edwin Castillo and Arts and Design students.
may I call in the ever supportive junior high school assistant to the principal for academics, head teacher 3, and department head at mathematics, Mrs. Liberty A. Noblesa, for our welcoming remarks. To our principal, Dr. Efren Esconcimino, assistant principal of senior high school, Sir Ryan Medina, assistant principal on operations and learning support, Ms. Rosalie Bisor, head teachers, master teachers, teachers, parents, learners, good morning. It is my pleasure to extend my cheerful welcome to all of you happy to see you virtually today marks the kickoff ceremony of the upland balik e escuela handa na bang ba ating mga bata handa na bang ba ating mga guru yan ay makikita natin sa mga ipipresent sa atin dito sa ating kickoff kung gano, kung ano ang ipinaghandaan ng mga guro para ang mga mag-aaral ay patuloy na mabigyan ng kaalaman, maituloy ang pag-aaral ng bawat bata. Alam na alam naman natin na dahil sa new normal tayo, ang mga, mga ah, mag-aaral ay hindi napupunta sa paaralan upang bigyan ng kaalaman ng kanilang mga guro. Ang pag-aaral nila ay sa pamagitan ng distance learning kung saan may module tayo na ipinamahagi sa mga magulang na siyang gagamitin ng ating mga anak sa kanilang pag-aaral. At paano naman ito may paparating ng mga guro? Paano maibibigay ng, turo, ng mga guro ang kanilang pagtuturo? <clears throat> ito ay sa pamagitan ng FB Messenger. Ang mga Guro ay gumawa ng group messenger classroom na kung saan, kung ano ang ginagawa sa loob ng paaralan ay siyang nagagawa rin dito sa ating group messenger classroom. Paano pinaghahandaan ng mga guro? Nagkaroon kami ng simulation o tinatawag din nating dry run. Dalawang linggo. O actually, bago pa pumasok ang September, nag-simulation na ang mga guro. Ano itong simulation na ito? Ito ay parang practice sa kanilang pag-aaral. Inimbitahan o ibkinawa ng isang group messenger classroom ang mga mag-aaral. Dito ay parang nasa loob sila na anak classroom. Yun nga lang, nasa, loob, nasa, eskwela, nasa bahay sila, nagtuturo ang mga guro. Okay? Lahat ng dapat na ipaalam sa mga bata ay ibinibigay ng mga guro. Yun nga lang, limitado ang oras natin dahil sa may oras kung ilan dapat lamang ang ating mag-aaral ay naka-expose sa screen. Ngunit, ganun pa man, meron paraan pa rin kung paano ma-extend ng mga guro ang kanilang pagtuturo sa mga bata. Anong mahalaga dito? Ang mga guro ay Handang-handa na para sa ating pasukan sa lunes, October 5, 2020 para sa school year na ito, 2020-2021. Mamaya, makikita nyo, matutunghayan nyo ang mga guro ng inyong mga anak, ang mga teaching personnel na bumubuo ng mataas na paaralan Neptali A. Gonzales at syempre ang ating masipag at matyaga at mabait na punong gurong si Dr. Efren S. Consumino. Lagi lang natin tatandaan, patience is a virtue. Basta, it is true, it is correct, that if we have patience, we will have always positive outlook in our life. New normal man tayo, ano man ang pandemya na ito, ito ay ating malalampasan sa kooperasyon ng bawat isa. Kailangan natin humihingi kami ng suporta sa inyong mga home partners upang matagumpay natin maturuan ang ating mga mag-aaral. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. 
and God bless you all. Let us witness the message of our dynamic and hardworking Principal 4 of Mataas na Paralang Neptali A. Gonzalez, Dr. Efren S. Consimino. SDO officials, headed by our assistant schools division superintendent and officer in charge, office of the schools division superintendent, Dr. Romela and Cruz, senior high school assistant principal, Mr. Ryan Maulibina, junior high school assistant of the principal for academics, Ms. Liberty A. Montesa, junior high school assistant of the principal for operations and learner support, Ms. Rosa Libisor, department heads, teaching and non-teaching personnel, our dear parents and other stakeholders, good morning to all of you. Dalawang araw mula ngayon ay mag-uumpisa na ang ating pasukan. Subalit sa darating na lunes ay ibang iba sa nakasanayan natin ang pagbubukas ng eskwela dahil ang mga mag-aaral ay hindi papasok sa paralan. Magpos, sila ay mag-aaral sa kanika nilang mga tahanan. Hindi tingin sa inyong kaalaman ang malaking banta sa ating kalusugan dala ng pandemya ang ating hinaharap sa kasalukuyan. Pagamat matinding hangon ang ating hinaharap, ang Department of Education ay hindi papayag na ipagliban ang pag-aaral ng mga bata. Kaya naman po, tuloy na tuloy na ang pagbukas ng klase sa Oktubre 5 gamit ang Distance Learning Modality. Sa ilalim ng Distance Learning Modality, ang mga mag-aaral ay bibigyan ng modules na gagamitin nila sa kanilang pag-aaral sa bahay. Sila ay gagawayan ng kanilang mga magulang o di kaya na kanilang lolo at lola, nakakatanggang kapatid, kamang-anak o sino man na maaaring tutulong sa mga mag-aaral sa kanilang pag-aaral sa bahay gamit ang kanilang modules at iba pang learning materials. Magkaroon din po ng interaction ng mga mag-aaral at ang kanilang guro gamit ang FB Messenger Chatroom sa oras na itinagda para sa kanilang synchronous at asynchronous activity. Sabay-sabay na mag-aaral ang mga bata sa oras ng kanilang synchronous learning sa loob ng FB chatroom at sila ay gagabayan ng kanilang mga guro. Sa oras naman po ng asynchronous learning, gagawin ng mga mag-aaral ang kanilang mga activity sheets, worksheets, project at iba pang mga gawain eskwela sa tulong ng kanilang mga magulang o home partner. Sa oras ng asynchronous learning, ang mga guro ay nakaantabay lamang sa kanilang mga mag-aaral upang sagupin ang anumang bagay na hindi na unawaan ng mga mag-aaral. Sa taong panuruan 2020-2021, malaki po ang papel na gagampanan ng bawat magulang sa pagkatuto ng kanilang anak. Ang oras at panahon na ilalaan ng bawat magulang upang gabayan sa pag-aaral, ang kanyang anak ay napakahalaga upang tsak na matututo ang mag-aaral. Sa ngalan, ng mga kaguruan ng mataas na paralang Nathalie A. Gonzalez, hinihiling ko po sa inyo, mga magulang at home partners, na tayo po ay matulungan upang mabigyan natin ng magandang edukasyon ng mga mag-aaral ng MPNA. Hindi po namin mabibigay ang dekalidad na edukasyon sa inyong mga anak kung hindi po kayo makikisa sa amin, lalo na sa panahon ito na tayo ay nasa new normal. At this point, allow me to welcome you all to MPNAP for the school year 2020-21. Thank you for entrusting once again your children to us. Inspired by our mantra, Basta MPNAP, Di Kalidad, we will continue to provide quality education services to our stakeholders despite the challenges brought about by the pandemic. Again, good morning, God bless, and keep safe, everyone. A learning continuity plan seek to ensure the students' learning progress even amidst of this pandemic. The MPNA community also conducted different activities such as parent orientations, preparation of modules, and also simulation or dry run. Let's watch the presentation of parents' orientation prepared by Master Teacher 2 in Senior High School, Mrs. Josephine Dinglasa. Isang pagbati at napagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Halina't samahan niyo po kami sa pagbukas ng klase ngayong taong panuruan 2020-2021 ng bataas na paralang Naptali A. Gonzalez. Para po sa kalaman ng lahat, 
ang aming pong eskwelahan ay handa na sa makapagong pamamaraan ng pagtatuto gamit ang blended learning program na kung saan magkakaroon ng online interactions at paggamit ng module ang bawat mag-aaral. Makakaasa po kayo na ang inyong pong anak ay makakakuha ng magandang serbisyo patungkol sa kanyang pag-aaral. Dahil ang bawat guro sa Mandaluyong ay naniniwala at nagpupulsige sa mga katagang batang mandunong, walang may iwan, lahat kabahagi ng bilang. At dahil ang aming eskwelahan ang napili ninyo, kayo po ay mapalad sapagkat ang aming adhikain sa bawat mag-aaral ay mabigyan sila ng likalidad na serbisyo. Ang aming laging bika, basta ang pinag, likalidad. Para naman po ay pakilala ang haligi ng aming paaralan, at ang mga taong katuwang ito na kung saan sila po ay nangunguna upang maging maayos at makapaglingkod sa inyo ng mga dekalidad na serbisyo. Ito po ay pinangungunahan ng aming butihing prinsipal na walang iba kundi si Dr. Efren S. Consimino. Kanya naman pong kaagapay si Naginoong Ryan O. Medina, ang aming assistant principal senior high school department, Ginang Liberty A. Noblesa, head teacher 3, assistant to the principal junior high school department academics, and binibining Rosalie Vizor, Head Teacher 3, Assistant to the Principal for Operations and Learner Support. Sunod ay ang mga puno ng bawat kagawaran sa pangunguna ni binibining Michelle Lilia Corta, Head Teacher 4 ng TLC Department, Ginang Maritas Natsor, Head Teacher 3 ng Science Department, binibining Ana Maria Bella, Head Teacher 3 ng MAPI Department, Ginoong Jemeline Basilio, Head Teacher 3, ng ESP Department, Ginang Adelaida Guloy, Head Teacher 3 ng Filipino Department, Ginoong Michael Serio, Master Teacher 1 at English Coordinator, at ang binibining Joanna Ayo, Master Teacher 1 at SPA Coordinator. At ang mga taong kumakalinga sa ating mga guro at estudyante, nandiyan po si Nagginang Gina L. Quison, ang ating Administrative Officer 2, Ginang Maria Cristina L. Pabayo, ang ating School Guidance Counselor, at ang binibining Ibet Balunan, ang ating School Registrar. Dumapo naman po tayo sa paglalatag ng ating class program. Para po sa ating Distance Learning Modality Mode, tayo po ay gagamit ng synchronous at asynchronous classes. Batay po sa Department Memorandum 2020-000162 na may titulong Suggested Strategies in Implementing Distance Learning Modalities for School Year 2020-2021, isinasaad po dito na ang mag-aaral ay may screen time na naaayon sa kanyang antas o baitang. Para sa mga grade 6 to 8, ang kanilang screen time ay tatag tatagal lamang ng dalawang oras. At para naman po sa grade 9 to 12, ang kanilang screen time ay tatagal ng apat na oras na kung saan ito ay hahatiin ng dalawang oras sa umaga at dalawang oras sa hapon. Paano nga ba ang pag-aaral ngayong darating na pasupan? Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng synchronous at asynchronous learning? Ang synchronous learning ay paraan ng pagtuturo na kung saan ang guro at ang mga mag-aaral ay sabay na magkakaroon ng interaksyon gamit ang iisang medium. Ito ay sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng FB Messenger Class. Maaari rin gumamit ang guro ng ibang platform upang mapaunlad ang kanyang pagtuturo katulad ng Google Classroom at Zoom sa mga paksang kinakailangan ng visual na interaksyon sa mga mag-aaral. Ang asynchronous learning naman ay isang paraan ng pagtuturo na kung saan ang guro at ang mga mag-aaral ay hindi kailangang magkaroon ng sabay na interaksyon bagkos ay magkaroon ng independent learning ang mga bata gamit ang self-directed modules at gabay ng mga magulang kung kinakailangan. Gayunpaman, maaari rin i-message ang kanilang guro sa kanilang consultation session time para sa mga bagay na hindi malinaw sa kanilang pag-aaral. Para naman po sa pagkuha ng modules o mandunong kits, ang ating pong paaralan ay gagamit ng pick-up mode na kung saan ang mga magulang ay pupunta sa paaralan upang kuhanin ang mandunong kit ng kanilang mga anak. Tanging mga magulang lamang at nakatatanda ang maaring kumuha ng module. Tayo po ay maglalaan ng schedule sa bawat grade level upang masiguro na naipapatupad natin ang health and safety protocol katulad ng pagsuot ng face mask, face shield, 
gloves, at ang pagsasagawa ng social distancing para na rin sa kaligtasan ng lahat. Paano isasubmit ang mga modules at activity sheets na nasagutan na? Hintayin ang anunsyo ng advisor kung kailan maaaring mag-drop off sa ating paaralan para isubmit ang mga modules. Ano-ano nga ba ang mga school health and safety protocol na dapat natin tandaan at isaalang-alang sa pagkuha at pagbabalik ng module? Una, mahigpit ay pinagbabawal ang pagpunta sa eskwelahan ng mga taong ang edad ay mas mababa sa 21 taong kulang at kasama na rin dito ang ating mga senior citizen. Pangalawa, magpacheck ng body temperature sa ating mga guards pagkapasok sa ating paaralan. Pangatlo, Mag-disinfect ng mga kamay gamit ang alkohol na matatagpuan sa guardhouse. Pangapat, mag-fill up ng contact tracing form na makikita sa ating guardhouse. Ikalima, sundin ang ating school site map para sa maayos na daloy ng pagpasok at paglabas sa ating paarala. Ikaani, ugaliin sa gawa ang social distancing. Ikapito, mag-fill out ng acknowledgement receipt form Katibaya na nakuha na ang mga module. Ikawalo, dagling lisanin ang ating paaralan pagkatapos makuha ang modules ng inyong anak. Ikasyam, i-disinfect ang mga modules bago gamitin. Ikasampu, tingnan ang laman ng modules kung kompleto, walang sira o kulang. At ang panghuli, kung may kulang o problema sa laman ng learning kit, sabihan agad ang advisor upang ito ay ma-report. Mga paalala sa ating mga magulang na kung saan kayo ang aming magiging household learning partners. Optional ang paggamit ng internet para sa messenger class dahil mas bibigyan ng tuon ang paggamit ng free data mode ng FB Messenger para sa delivery ng klase. Ang Facebook Messenger ay isa lamang sa magiging kagamitan o tool para sa pagsasagawa ng klase. Maliban dito, gagamit din ang mag-aaral ng mga self-directed modules na naglalaman ng mga aralin at gawain para sa mga mag-aaral. Ang bawat asignatura o klase ay may oras na nakadaan para sa synchronous at asynchronous class. Ang oras sa paggamit ng FB Messenger platform para magtanong sa mga guro maliban sa itinagdang oras ng kanilang klase ay hanggang 5 o'clock p.m. lamang mula lunes hanggang biyernes. Sa special na pagkakataon, maaari din kontakin ang inyong mga guro na lagpas sa takdang oras kung ito ay kailangan o emergency. Maliban sa mga module na ibibigay, may mga what guide or weekly home activities and task guide na ibibigay na siyang magsisilbing checklist at gabay ng mga mag-aaral at nagulang para sa mga dapat gawin at tapusin sa linggong iyon. Para sa mga batang labing tatlong taong gulang pababa, alinsunod sa ipinapatupad na user policy of Facebook, hindi sila maaaring magkaroon ng sakiling Facebook account, kaya naman ang gagamitin nila ay ang account ng kanilang mga magulang para sa kanilang synchronous classes. Magkakaroon ng messenger group ang bawat subject ng mga mag-aaral. Dapat ang mga Facebook account na gagamitin ng mga bata ay mayroong profile picture na formal o disente at ang pangalan ay ang totoong pangalan nila upang sila ay madaling makilala ng kanilang mga guro. Ito naman po ay ang sample module o mandunong kit na inyong matatanggap at gagamitin ng bata sa kanyang pag-aaral. Naglalaman ito ng lesson at mga kasanayan na gagawin ng bata sa buong isang linggo. Makikita rin dito ang pagtataya na kung saan ay masusukat ang kanyang kaalaman at pangunawa sa nasabing module. Ito naman ang sample what guide na kung saan ay magiging gabay ninyo at ng bata sa kanyang pang-araw-araw na gawain. Nakasaat dito ang mga gamit na kailangan niyang ihanda at ang mga pagsasanay na kailangan niyang tapusin sa bawat araw sa loob ng isang linggo. Malinaw rin na nakasaat dito kung kailan ang synchronous at asynchronous learning ng bawat mag-aaral. Paano gagamitin ang messenger? Ang FB Messenger Group ng bawat klase ay maaaring gamitin sa tatlong paraan. Coordination, class discussion, at submission. Para sa coordination, 
gagamitin ito ng mga guro, lalo na ng mga advisor upang i-follow up ang mga ipapasa ng mga bata, i-check ang kanilang kalagayan at i-monitor ang kanilang mga requirements. Para naman sa class discussion, maaari din gamitin ang messenger group para magkaroon ng interaksyon sa pagitan ng mag-aaral at guro. Dito magaganap ang virtual discussion kung saan maaaring palalimin o linawin at talakayin ng guro ang mga laman ng paksang aralin na nasa module para sa linggong iyon. At para naman sa submission, depende sa pangangailangan. Maaaring gamitin din ang FB Messenger Group para isubmit ng mga mag-aaral ang kanilang natapos na gawain para sa isang linggo o hindi man ay mga karagdagang gawain na ibinigay ng kanilang guro na wala sa mga module na sa kanyang palagay ay kailangan upang mas maintindihan ng mga mag-aaral ang paksa sa araw na iyon. Ano ang kailangang ihanda bagong aktual na klase? Smartphone, active SIM card with 1 peso balance, Facebook account, parents account kung 13 years old pababa ang bata, learning packet na naglalaman ng modules, what guide, paper, and pen. Ano naman ang mga prosesong gagawin sa loob ng messenger group habang nagkaklase? Paggamit ng emojis para sa pagsagot sa ilang mga katanungan ng guro na nangangailangan ng agarang tugon mula sa mga mag-aaral tulad ng attendance, pagkaunawa sa isang bagay at iba pa. Susundin pa din ng guro at ng mga mag-aaral ang ilan sa mga tradisyonal na pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga pang-araw-araw na gawain mula sa pag-check ng attendance hanggang sa pagkatapos ng aralin sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng takdang aralin at quiz gamit ang messenger platform. Kung absent ang bata, maaaring i-message ang advisor o ang mga guro upang malaman ang kalagayan nito at mapaalam ang mga gawain sa araw na iyon. Ang talakayan ay gagawin sa patnubay at gabay ng guro tuwing synchronous time ng nasabing subject at follow-up at reminders naman tuwing asynchronous time. Depende sa magiging usapan ng guro, mag-aaral at magulang, maaaring magkaroon ng video conference o gumamit ng ibang platform maliban sa FB Messenger upang mas mapakbuti ang pagtuturo, ngunit ito ay optional lang. Atin naman pong talakayin ang parent as learning partners or facilitators. Isa sa napakalagang katanungan at kung ano at paano magiging kabahag ang mga magulang sa pagtuturo sa panahong ito ng makabagong pamamaraan ng pagkatuto, ating isa-isahin ang inyong mga responsibilidad bilang learning partners or facilitators. Kayo po ay magiging katuwang namin sa pagkuha at pagbalik ng mga learning packet sa paaralan kada linggo. Tutulungan niyo pong maging handa ang mga mag-aaral para sa pagkatuto. Tutulungan niyo ang mga guro sa pagdisiplina sa mga mag-aaral kahit online ang klase. Tutulungan niyo po ang mga mag-aaral na maging responsable sa kanilang pag-aaral. Ano-ano ang mga piece na dapat nating kandaan bilang learning facilitator? Unang P, panahon. Humanap ng oras upang matulungan ang mga mag-aaral sa kanilang distance learning. Pangalawang P, pagtatanong. Ikayatin ng mga mag-aaral na magtanong. Hindi kailangan na masagot mo ang tanong nila. Pangatlong P, pagkakayanin. Sabihin sa sarili na kaya natin tulungan ang ating mga anak sa kanilang pag-aaral. Pangapat na P, pagtaya. Dahil sa bago ang sistema, lahat ay isang malaking sugal, ngunit ang role natin ay magtiwala na kaya natin ito basta't sama-sama at tulong-tulong. At ang ikalimang P, pakikiramdam. Pakiramdaman ang mga anak sa kung anong pangtulong ang kanilang kailangan sa kanilang pag-aaral. Muli, ang iba pa pong learning platforms na maaaring gamitin ng mga mag-aaral ay ang mga sumusunod. DepEd Commons na kung saan ay naglalaman ng mga video at audio lectures, ready-to-print self-learning modules at electronic self-learning modules. 
ang TV broadcasting naman ay mapapanood sa Solar TV at IBC 13. Para po sa mga news and updates patungkol sa aming paaralan, maaari niyo pang bisitahin ang mga sumusunod na websites. DepEd Tayo MPNAG, DepEd Tayo MPNAG Senior High School, Basta MPNAG, Tikalidad, MPNAG Senior High School Online Services Portal. Inaasahan po namin ang inyong pakikisa at sama-sama nating itawid ang taong panuroan sa panahon ng makabagong pamamaraan ng pagkatuto. Muli, maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Ito po si Ginang Josephine A. Dinglasa na nagsasabing, Sa MPNAG, may choice ka. Basta MPNAG, di kalidad! The presentation of our class advisors, subject teachers, and non-teaching personnel of Mataas na Pakalang Neptil A. Gonzalez will present to us by Mr. John Jacob Cañete. The Grade 7 Advisors Mrs. Jocelyn and Cruz Antares Ma'am Kimberly T. Ferrello Arturus Mrs. Marisa P. Pasyon Canopus Sir Edgardo A. Bautista Capella Ms. Riza Esguera Denem Sir Jerome F. Pastor Elnat Mr. Harry David G. Galeado Hadar Mrs. Erlinda C. Aguilion Mira Mrs. Lizel M. Valdez Polaris Ma'am Analiza P. Unating Regulus Sir Ferdinand Tutanes Rigel Ma'am Charis Mahilom Shola Ma'am Ruth Yuda Briz Spica Ma'am Maria Victoria Villasi Sirius Mrs. Joan M. Tomeno Vega Mrs. Marisal C. Malana Bellatrix SPA Mrs. Mary Ann P. Aguirre ST Fahrenheit Ms. Leolinda B. Sevilla ST Celsius Mrs. Citaren B. Besana and ST Kelvin Mrs. Caroline R. Cabrera The Grade 8 Advisors STO, Mrs. Rosalinda P. Bandal STE Ampere, Mrs. Nora S. Manlagut STE Joel, Mrs. Babylin V. Polotano Sampagita, Ms. Ellen S. Tubig Amon, Mr. Ron Sapol Azalea, Mrs. Rina Donis Camelia, Mrs. Jocelyn Martir Clover, Ms. Norilyn Bulawin Daisy, Ms. Maribel M. Villanueva Ivy, Mr. Genesis M. Prado Jasmine, Mrs. Lilibet N. Nunez Magnolia, Ms. Rosel Banta Orchids, Ms. Mariani Tapoy Rose, Mrs. Maripaz B. Otico Sunflower, Ms. Jennifer Galia Dahlia, Mrs. Joelita Serv 
ilang-ilang ni si Catherine C. Godio. Carnation, Miss Sherry Ibonia. SPA Amarsolo, Mr. Mark Anthony F. Lacanilao. SPA One Luna, Mr. Ni B. Bolotano. SPJ, Miss Rona Gigitaras. Your Grade 9 Advisors. ST Bernoli, Miss Julian P. Ruiz. ST Faraday, Miss Maribel A. Diaz. ST Hook, Mrs. Carmelita M. Yomo. SPA Laban, Miss Lara Mesa Y. Camacho. SPA Makuha, Miss Maylin M. Mga Sir. SPJ, Miss Mary Grace R. Paragas. Rizal, Miss Leonilin C. Rania. Bonifacio, Miss Marinia Cristina V. Gacho. Del Pilar, Mrs. Jennifer C. Mendoza. Mabini, Miss Joan Bernafe M. Frias. Dagohoy, Mrs. Ria G. Sablaon. Lapu-Lapu, Miss Jovita B. Botero. Texon, Mrs. Caselyn F. Dacanay. Haina, Mrs. Janine S. Alba. Jacinto, Mrs. Leia P. Haurile. Silang, Mr. Mark Emil Pahayo. Agoncillo, Ms. Charmaine Q. Naira. Aquino, Mrs. Cheryl S. Torres. Magbanwa, Ms. Mary Rose B. Noora. Felipe, Ms. Ana Aurelia D. Salas. The Grade 10 Advisors Mrs. Veronica Y. Santawana, ST Euclid Mrs. Janita F. Sapalio, ST Pascal Ms. Rowena E. Eclavia, ST Hawking Ms. Josephine Jeanette R. Jimenez, SP Balagtas Mr. John Jacob Cañete, Grade 10 SPJ Mr. Anthony C. Sumagi, Diamond Ms. Jessica Morales, Amber Ms. Robina S. Castaneda, Grade 10 Amethyst Mrs. Anita D. Montano, Topaz Miss Heidi Agapito Citrin Mr. Nino A. Ranille Torquoise Miss Erica A. Mendoza Emerald Miss Janela Marie O. Esteban Alexandra Miss Persing G. Apostol Galina Mr. J.R. B. Dones, Jade Mr. Jonathan S. Juan, Larimar Mr. Marion Allen, B. Albaladeo, Onyx Ms. Gemma V. Genicio, Opal Grade 11 Advisors ABM1, Ma'am Mercheng Salvador ABM2, Ma'am Marian D. UC ABM3, Care of Mr. Noel Magracia GAS1, Ma'am Crisian Ann F. Ferranco 
Gas 2, Ma'am Lenny, Magsigay. Gas 3, Sir Noel Magracia. Yums 1, Mr. Rene Tepan. Yums 2, Ms. Trisha Argoso. Yums 3, Sir John Daniel Carbonera. Yums 4, Care of Ms. Rachel Tapan. Stem 1, Mr. Verhel Handayan. Stem 2, Mr. Alejandro Bueno. Stem 3, Sir John Benedict Layo. HE1, Mrs. Narisa Orpilia. HE2, Mr. Alexander P. Menor. HE3, care of Mrs. Josephine Aiding Lasan. HE4, care of Mrs. Josephine Aiding Lasan. And last, 11 Arts, Mr. Edwin Castillo. Grade 12 Advisors 12 ABM 1, Mr. Noel D. Gambito 12 ABM 2, Mr. Junior S. Lim 12 GAS 1, Mr. Leandro C. Espiritu Jr. 12 GAS 2, Mr. J.P. G. Kasipit 12 STEM 1, Mrs. Jennifer F. Lacanilao 12 STEM 2, Mr. Ryan J. C. Verbo 12 HE1, Mrs. Mylene Patricio 12 HE2, Mr. Franklin H. Canosa HE3, Mr. Francis C. Manalo 12 HE4, Mrs. Shirley A. Magallanes 12 Arts, Mrs. Maria Teresa C. Caranza That is most adaptable to change. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Hindi mo kailangan maging pinakamatalino o pinakamalakas para mabuhay. Ang kailangan natin ay matutong makisabay sa pagbabago. Gawin ang dapat gawin kung ito naman ay para sa ikabubuti ng lahat. We humans are the most adaptable species on earth. Kaya natin to. Basta't sama-sama at tulong-tulong. This coming October 5 will be the first day of school. And we all know how challenging it is for the administrators, teachers, students, and even for the parents. However, education must continue. Here in Mandaluyong, we will continue learning through modules and Facebook Messenger. We assure our learners, parents, and teachers that any decision that we will make or have made for the continuation of learning will have their health, safety, and well-being as primary consideration. To our dear students, laging tandaan, batang mandunong, walang maiiwan, kabahagi ka ng bilang. 
And to our dear teachers of MPNAG, let us continue working with passion and with heart. Sabi nga natin, basta MPNAG, di kalidad. We shall overcome this. Muli, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Let us witness a short video presentation of the distribution of modules of Mataas na Paral Metri A. Gonzalez. The school also assures that the safety and security of our teachers, personnel, stakeholders, and parents during the distribution of module or Manduno kits is in top priority. Proper health and safety protocols are strictly implemented upon entering to our school zone during this time. Hi everyone! May I present to you our school, Mataas na para lang Neptali A. Gonzalez, which works by the tagline, Basta Empinag de Calidad. It is categorized as a large school with more than 4,000 enrollees. It has been serving the Mandalenas for 23 years now, but this school year is different from the previous years as the coronavirus pandemic has caused a paradigm shift and operating a school during this time will definitely adapt to the new normal. It may be tough, but the school has to continue to bring service and meet the challenges of the time. Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones, in her official statement on May 5, 2020, said, We will do everything in our capacity to carry on so that basic education will still be available despite the crisis. Thus, SDO Mandaluyong responded and adopted distance learning as primary mode of delivery through modules and offline digital. On its end, MPNAG headed by the Principal Dr. Efren S. Consimino, together with the Assistant Principal, Department Heads, ICT experts of the school, and select teachers heeded to the call. It organized a simulation team to go through the processes that will be done as MPNAG practices the new normal and look into the challenges the school might face as classes begin on August 24, 2020. Simulation was like a bus ride. We started traveling on July 27, 2020. First stop was the reproduction and packaging of learning materials. Modules and worksheets were reproduced and packaged as scheduled. A what list or a weekly home and task list which serves as a guide and contains details of what the teacher and the learners will do in a messenger classroom, was also reproduced and packaged as scheduled. Second stop is the orientation of students and home partners. Still on July 27, 2020, the principal of the school conducted orientation for students and parents via Google Meet. Dr. Consimino explained the purpose of creating Classroom Messenger as one of the tools to distance learning. He emphasized that household partners like parents, guardians, or responsible adults at home will supervise the learners. Third stop to the two-day travel was the creation of Messenger Chat Room on July 28. Mrs. Maria Erlinda C. Aguilion, Grade 7 English teacher, Mrs. Baby Lynn Bolotano, Grade 8 Mathematics teacher, and Mrs. Marites Onachor, Head of the Science Department worked together to create a messenger chat room. All points and rules considered, parents' accounts were used, and the names of the learners were added. This protects the learners who are minors and encouraged the participation and guidance of the parents. The chat group provided teachers, parents, and students easy access to the messenger class. Before the actual demo, both teachers started to communicate with the students so that they would have the feel of the new setting and a glimpse of this new process. On July 29, 2020, as we were nearing our destination, MPNAG provided pickup stations in the school from Andunong Kits. The kit includes modules, worksheets, what list, and paper and pen. Parents were guided, safety protocols observed, and the kits were properly distributed. On July 30, 
we finally reached our destination. Our task was the holding of synchronous class via offline messenger. Mom Linda was our first teacher. She was armed with a ready-made script, including possible responses. According to her, she had a wonderful experience during the actual simulation. She said that she had accepted the challenge because she wanted to test herself if she could manage synchronous class despite her age. She also added that she wanted to see if she could still cope with the technical and computer abilities of the new generation. With the help of the simulation team, she was able to conduct the class without difficulty nor stress. She concluded that although they were really learning the lesson, the responses of the students made her feel the excitement as if they were playing Mobile Legends. Mom Babylene, our second teacher, also had an enjoyable class with the learners, this time in mathematics. A plan was made to easily copy the text instructions in the messenger chat. During the actual simulation, she was able to show both the plan and the messenger chat room, thus demonstrating the quick technique of copying and pasting. This struck the observers who said that they will also apply the technique in their own messenger classrooms. Her eagerness and excitement transcend to her students' responses in every question, as if they were in a competition. It was a great experience for her, despite some technical problems like slow internet connection, messaging traffic in the messenger chat, and other technology-related problems. For after all, she was able to finish the lesson on time, accomplish the plan, and enjoyed her class. It might have been a long trip, but we surely enjoyed the destination. This is why on August 3, parents and guardians returned the learning materials as scheduled, and the retrieval of Mundunum kits proceeded smoothly. August 4, on our trip back home, our bus ride included a post-analysis report. Dr. Consumino led the team to a detailed post-conference with Mrs. Nachor as the navigator. The assistant principals, department heads, teachers, parents, and STE learners all squeezed in to our jam-packed bus. The principal thanked the parents for their full support and cooperation and elicited their feedback regarding the experience. A parent commented that offline messenger class is a good way to deliver learning since they do not need to have internet connection. Her concern, however, is if all her children would have classes at the same time, they would have a problem on the availability of enough gadgets. To this, Dr. Consumino replied that the challenges may just be felt during the first quarter as the local government is targeting to provide the individual tablets as soon as possible. Another parent responded that with this kind of modality, they could monitor the activities of their children because they could easily backread and see their performance. One parent reminded her co-parents that in this new normal, parents would have to play an active role in the learning process. On the other hand, students said that they were able to catch up with the lesson given by the teachers. It was not difficult for them to follow the instructions and participate in the discussion. The problem happens, however, when there is flooding of answers. Teachers also share their valuable feedback. Though it may be challenging, what they have seen gave them confidence that they too could also adjust to the new process. With all our experiences on this trip, we are ready to go home with an insight that indeed, like our Deaf and Secretary, we will do everything in our capacity to carry on so that basic education will still be available despite the crisis. Dahil kami naniniwala, ang batang manduno, walang maiiwan lahat kabahagi ng bilang. 
We are now at the end station and we all have arrived safely. This is Mrs. Esperanza Ramos Starks, proud to be part of Mataas na Paaralang Neptali A. Gonzalez. Dahil basta empinag, de kalidad. Everyone, I am Mrs. Rose Pinding Lesson, a master teacher too and a tech trainer of Mataas na Parilang Nepali A. Gonzalez. I've been teaching for less than two decades and spending me three years in senior high school department. I am handling subjects under tourism and hospitality and business management courses. One of the biggest schools in the division of Mandaluyong is Mataas na Parilang Nepali A. Gonzalez and headed by the most hardworking and very supportive school administrators. Dr. Efren S. Cancenino, our school principal, and Mr. Ryan O. Medina, our assistant school principal for senior high school. Empinag depicts the quality, efficient, and effective education for all and aims to provide education to the maximum for all the students to harness them with academic, entrepreneurial, and technological skills. Here in Empinag, working with quality is a mess and we want to reflect it with our students in what academics and extracurricular activities. As our mantra states, Basta and Pinag, Tikalidad! First experience is the best teacher. Since it was the first time of using us in your classroom, and it was a great challenge for my work. So, let us find out what happened during my simulation demonstration teaching. First, I worked on my module and considered the five C's in the module. What are the five C's? These are collaboration, adapter, critical thinking, creativity, and communication. I created a group page for both parents and students with the help of their previous advisor, Mr. Verhel Hendayek. The group page for parents named as Parent Empathy Circle was used for information and announcement designation and for me to communicate with them easily since they are the household partners of this form of graduation. To be able to understand well the simulation process, we conducted orientation for the parents together with a very supportive principal and assistant school principal for senior high school. Kailangan ng mga magulang at mga uh, senior high school students magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Kumusta po kayo? I hope that everything is okay. Ano? Maraming salamat at pinaunlakan nyo ang ating uh, orientation ngayong hapon. Thank you for making yourselves available just for this orientation. The printed modules to the what list, activity sheets, and other materials should be given to the parents. I texted the parents and scheduled them to go to school and get them a new kit. What are the things to be followed and considered by the parents when getting the modules? They follow the site map as their guide on how to get the modules. These were the six steps they followed. First, they had a temperature check upon entering the school premises. Second, they should sanitize themselves. Third, they filled out the contact tracing form given by the school guard. 
report, they received a Mandino kit from the teachers assigned. Fifth, sign their names and the name of their children as indication that they received it already. Lastly, they should follow the site map in going out the school premises. So easy to follow, right? The students receive already the Mandarin kit. What did they do with the module? Of course, the students follow the health protocol. They sanitize the kit and themselves before checking the kit. Then, they look after the materials inside if complete. And they became accelerated to read what's in the wet list. They scanned and read some of the instructions and activities stated in the module since it is a self-learning module. I gave them also 7-minute activity to do, so that I know if they have already an idea and knowledge on the subject and topic they're about to discuss. Based on their answers, I found out that they had no idea with the topic. Because of this, I thought of the ways and strategies on how to deliver my lesson to them, especially they just had little knowledge about the subject. Since the module consisted of discussions and activities with the five seats, they should be very cautious in understanding the activities. I wondered on how do they answer the activities without facilitating them. Do they need to answer once they get the modules? Are they guided or no? Are they doing it by themselves or with a teacher? Let us know how interactions should be done using the Classroom Messenger. Once they receive the Manduno kit, the students should wait for my signal or instruction. So, the creative messenger classroom in Fortean was the offline platform used for my discussion. I gave them reminders on how to re up, ask, or recite once the discussion is started. It is essential that students should be oriented on the actual usage of the synchronous online classroom. It is also important that even the discussion is through chat, the students are still properly acknowledged by me when they want to recite or say something. The proper etiquette or behavior in using the classroom messenger is really essential. Remember that as a teacher, I should deliver the instructions clearly to the students so that they understand well the lesson and can answer the activities with full confidence and honesty. Fortunately, all of the parents and guardians deliver the module to school within a lot of time and three of the students who are in the province sent their activities through Classroom Messenger. The FIP process still followed the health protocol for in they should sign the contract tracing form and submitted the kit to the teachers assigned to the retrieval. As I check their activity sheets, happy teacher is here because all of them got a perfect score. I automatically record their score using my electronic class record. Here is the video presentation of MPNAB during the preparation, sorting, and distribution of modules prepared by our dear department head in science, Mrs. Marites Onechor.
may I call in our assistant to the principal, operation and learning support, head teacher 3, and Araline Pandipunan, department head, Ms. Rosalie V. Soar, for our closing remarks. Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Pagtutulungan at paghahanda ng bawat isa ang isang data upang mayatid ang edukasyon sa bawat mag-aaral. Pagamat walang batang physical na papasok sa loob ng paaralan, ang virtual kick-off na ito ay hudyat ng pagbabalik eskwela ng mga mag-aaral gamit ang teknolohiya, module, at kaparaan ng ngayon pa lamang mararanasan na nakakarami sa kanila. Lubos ang aming pasasalamat sa lokal na pamahalaan, sa Schools Division Office, sa aming mga stakeholders, mga volunteers, mga magulang, at sa lahat na nagpakita ng kanilang pagsuporta tungo sa pagbibigay ng mga oportunidad pang edukasyon para sa mga mag-aaral ng MPNAC sa panahon ng pandemya. Gayun din, sa mga guru na inihanda ang mga sarili para makasabay sa makabagong pamamaraan ng pagtuturo sa pangunguna ng aming punong guru, Dr. Efren S. Consemino, katuwang ang aming assistant principal, ang mga head teachers, at ang PSDS in charge of MPNAG, Mr. Edgar S. Belmonte. Ngayon darating October 5, tulong-tulong tayo sa pagtamo ng dekalidad na edukasyon. Sa pagbubukas ng klase, handa ang mataas na paaralang Neptali A. Gonzales. In this new normal setup of education, mataas na paaralang Neptali A. Gonzales envisioned to give the best and quality education for our dear learners. Thank you, dear parents and stakeholders, for always giving your 100% support to our teachers and students. God bless us all sa ating lahat. Basta empinag, de kalidad. <music>